my primary clinical role is stroke neurology, and what I spend most of my time doing is doing health services research uh, on focusing on a couple different questions. Using statistical modeling uh, to try and figure out which patients most benefit from treatment and to quantify the risks and benefits of treatment for individual patients. Second kind of major theme is to try and understand what drives differences in long-term outcomes between patients. Uh, and then sort of the third big theme is trying to figure out how to efficiently use all of the new technology that is constantly disseminating through medicine. Which of those things are things that are going to be big societal wins if we invest our resources in them versus ones that are going to chew up a lot of costs but not necessarily deliver the benefits that we're hoped to get from them. As I went through my residency, uh, I was constantly struck by places where we had massive gaps in what we could do for patients. And some of those gaps are very understandable. Right? The patient with Alzheimer's disease that we don't have a treatment that can improve their outcomes for is obviously a massive struggle for everybody. What I became increasingly frustrated by were the problems that seemed readily solvable if only we sort of had the will to try and solve them. And that, I think, was the building theme for me throughout residency and the more time I spent taking care of patients. That led me, after finishing my residency and a stroke fellowship, um, to uh, being in the Robert Wood Johnson Clinical Scholars Program here, where I got to work with really incredible people, uh, just fantastic mentors, and at that point in time, developed the skills, the tools, and the knowledge to actually be able to start doing this on my own. One major problem is efficiency. I mean, there's really clear data at the macroscopic level that healthcare in the United States is wildly inefficient. I mean, the most credible estimates are 20%, up to a third of all that we do is essentially wasteful. It's a massive expenditure of resources that we could be dedicating to other important societal priorities. The other giant challenge, I think, for our healthcare system is delivering quality care to everybody. While we've extended life expectancy and while we've improved health, um, for some subsets of people in this country, we have not extended that nearly as far, nearly as universally as we need to. I think that's another giant challenge, sort of the big macro level for our healthcare system. To be a member of IHPI is a no-brainer. You're always hearing about other really smart people's major priorities, and you're able to then go back to yours and make sure that you're going in the right direction. So from a big picture perspective, I think that is extraordinarily valuable. The other thing that's really valuable is that when you're trying to tackle one of these questions, the question is how best to go about doing it. You have access to finding the tools, finding the approaches, finding the people that can help you get those things done more efficiently, more effectively um, than you would be if you didn't have that giant support apparatus around you. I think there are a couple different themes that I hope uh, we will see happen over the next course of the next couple decades in medicine. I think one of those themes is um, productive culture change in terms of how patients and providers think about medicine. I think the other sort of, sort of pragmatic big picture thing that I think can happen in the long term is that uh, one of the things that's happening in this building uh, is that a lot of people are focusing on helping individual patients make better treatment decisions. I'd be optimistic that one of the contributions that big data can make is that we're going to be able to not just take the data from clinical trials, but we're going to be able to say in the real world, what do those risks and benefits look like? And be updating that as the world changes to be able to give people an accurate prediction of risks and benefits and be able to make better treatment decisions. Mm -hmm.